is over and honestly, I love myself a good benchmark. It allows me to reflect, be able to see where I improved or maybe where I still need to improve, but it also gives me a chance to look back at my favorite things. So that's what we're gonna dig in today and feel free to follow along with these categories and find out a few of our favorite things. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sue and this is my husband, Alex, and we're both fitness coaches as well as business owners, dog lovers, and Packer fans. And in these favorites, we're gonna get into a few different categories, but we'd love to hear any suggestions you have for categories you'd like to see in the future. But we'll be talking about our favorite activewear since we are in the gym often, our favorite meals, and also talking about our favorite training songs and a few other fun categories. Alex, in the past three months, what has been your favorite go-to exercise you always get so jazzed to do? I will give you two. So I will have an upper body exercise, which is going to be the incline Smith machine press that is reverse banded. Now with this movement, it is one that I've seen a ton of progress over the past three months. I haven't been utilizing the exercise prior to the past three months. So it has seen large jumps and weight lifted, which has been really fun. And we all know that exercises that we're able to see weight progressions week after week and seeing the load go up and up, it's a nice feeling. And my second one for my lower exercises is going to be my safety squat bar. Now, it's not just any safety squat bar. If you've seen our other YouTube videos, I'm using the Prime Super Squat Safety Bar. With this movement, this is another one where I've seen a lot of progression over the past three months, and the build of that bar allows for me to go deeper into fatigue, which is something that I have absolutely loved since incorporating it, and I'm excited for the next six months, next nine months with that movement because I think that it is going to be all the gains in the world. So those are my two movements. I can definitely vouch for that super squat bar because I have not been a huge fan of squatting. And I said to Alex the first time I used it, this is gonna get me back into squatting. And I made a mistake there because I told him I was kind of missing squatting. And if you didn't know, he's the one who does my programming. So what do you know? The next program had some hard, hard, hard squats, but they have been a ton of fun. Sue, what have been your favorite exercises or muscle groups to train over the past three months? I couldn't narrow it down to just an exercise, so I did go with a full muscle group, which is back. And similarly to Alex, it has been the one that I've seen the most improvement in, so it definitely has been a favorite to train. It always gets me excited to go out to the gym when I know freaking back day and I'm gonna see some strides in what I'm doing. I just feel like the more that I've worked on my core, the better and better my back movements have gotten and I just feel freaking juice to the gills sometimes. I, <laughs> I love it. Juice to the gills was quite the finish. Now I know you love a good training song. You love a good playlist, a good anything music related. So what is the banger that people need to be listening to to hit their PRs right now? For training, Mad Max by Lil Durk and Future has been my absolute favorite song over the past three months. It is, um, how do I put it? It is, it's hype. It's it's not over. <laughs> it's hype. It's hype. It's a, I, I like Lil Durk. I like Future. So it's an easy to listen to music. Thus, it just gets me hype. I love it. I've been back on my Russ vibe recently. And so my song that I've been listening to while I'm training is Put You On Game by Russ. I'm back in my Russ era, so you know I'm, I'm up to something. Now my favorite song just in general right now is White Dress by Mike. If you have followed us on all of our social media platforms, you know that we are a massive fan of Mike for a long time. And so White Dress, I've played far too many times. And if you're like me, you probably play your music until it makes you so annoyed and you cannot hear the song ever again. And I am burning myself out on this song. I'm okay with it because I love it to its core. <laughs> and you know it because there's always gonna be a snippet of the song that he just will sing <laughs> time and time and time again when he loves a song. So I know exactly how that song starts, uh, not only because I've heard him play it, but I've heard him uh, you know, put out a melody for it as well. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Well, no surprise here, but my favorite non-training song was also a Mike song. So it was B&B &B by Mike. That was, that was just on a lot and I love it. 
I love a lot of Mike's new releases. Still, still playing the highs consistently, but some of his new music, the music with Skis, and then the Love album, it's been good. It's good. I know you absolutely love your work, you love working with clients, and who doesn't love a good client win or good client transformation? So what has been one that's either stood out to you or just been really cool to see? My favorite client transformation recently has been with my client, Christina. Now, Christina came to me postpartum wanting to lose the body fat that she had gained during her pregnancy. There was greater adversity for her as her husband was overseas fighting for our country as well as she was raising a very young child and they were in the process of moving. And in the 12 week period of our, of our time working together, she had to move twice. So she's taking care of a child under two years old while maintaining a full-time job. We did our best with the equipment that she had available to her at her home. So she worked out from home almost a greater majority of the time, as well as during those two moves, we had to get creative with the equipment that she had available to her at the different gyms while she was on the move. And she still was able to make immaculate progress. You'll see this photo on the screen and see her start and end time over that three month period. Her results are incredible. And I'm so proud and it is a testament to the work ethic that she had because we put the best plan in place for her and that had to change over time with the moves and, and with the changes to her work and all those different factors, but we made it work for her and she was able to stay extremely disciplined from start to finish. It wasn't perfect, right? We're looking at a situation where more often than not, she was on point and that's what matters the most. And so I'm really, really proud of her. I'm so excited for her moving forward as her husband is home. We can pop up a picture of that as well. Christina, you crushed it. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have worked with you and I'm so excited to continue to see you flourish, utilizing the things that we worked on in our time together and continuing to be the best version of you. I freaking love that. Go Christina. And I think the pictures need to come up one more time because when you sent these to me, I all I could say back was wow, because it is truly incredible what you two accomplished. Super jazzed about that. Now, one of my favorite client wins recently just happened in the past few weeks. It's a client that I've been working with for about 23 weeks at this point. And she came to me when she was choosing between working with me or going and getting plastic surgery. We went through our consult call and to see if we were gonna be a good match and if I could help her get to where she wanted to go. And I said, hey, give me 24 weeks. We'll see what we can do here. But I really don't think you are gonna to need to go the plastic surgery route. And now I will go ahead and pop up a picture. She was down 14 pounds in a 16 week dieting phase. She said that she never felt that she could be this lean as well as she's excited to go ahead and rock her bikinis on vacation when her legs and her lower stomach has been a big part of her insecurities and she just absolutely crushed it. And I cannot mention Laura without also mentioning her husband, John. They both signed up and held each other accountable and they both crushed it. They're on vacation right now. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself and you are looking good doing it. Mm, mm, mm. I was just thinking about my favorite meal. <laughs> and what is your favorite meal? Oh, uh, my favorite meal is this beautiful, very well-made meal, sweet and sour chicken with rice. My <laughs> wife makes this. It has pineapple in it. It has peppers in it. It is the most delightful meal I've ever had. And I get very burnt out, just like I do with my music, with food. So true. <laughs> and with this meal, there is no end in sight. <laughs> and it has been in my protocols for at least three months, if not longer. And I plan to have it for the rest of time. This is the most delicious meal I've ever mm -hmm. had in my entire life, <gasps> without question. I can't even, argue, I can't even put a second to this meal. It's that good. <laughs> I hear this about every three months <laughs> when he switches his favorite meal, where your favorite meal last time was chicken fried rice. And you said, and that meal I, was can't, amazing. <laughs> I can't imagine not eating this every single day. Oh goodness. Well, my favorite snack actually recently has been a Nash bar. Duh. It has been the find of a century, I think. Wow. I, how long is that century? 10 years. Is it? A decade. Oh, 100 years. I was like, a decade is 10 years.
So yes, the greatest discovery in the past 100 years when it comes to protein bars. I went out on a freaking mission. I was going to find a protein bar that was gonna check all of my boxes. I wanted it to be minimal ingredients. I wanted it to be whole ingredients if possible. I wanted it to have low to minimal fiber as well as having no artificial sweeteners and to be dairy free and for it to have at least 20 grams of protein. I had a long list and I didn't think anything was going to check every single box. And I ordered box after box of protein bars. But then Nash bars came into my life and they are whole ingredient, minimal ingredient, just so freaking good, dairy free and 20 grams of protein. They do it all, their flavors are incredible. They are so fresh, I'm just, the hugest fan. But my favorite flavors of the Nash bar are gonna be the peanut butter bliss and the maple pecan. Now, that doesn't mean I'll turn away any of them, but if I have a choice, those are normally the two that I gravitate towards. And bonus, they're local, which we absolutely love to see, and husband and wife owned, which we love to see as well. So Nash bars are it. Oh. Dang, that's a nice shirt you got on. Oh, you like it, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's one of my favorites, and it's nice and comfortable. Now, this is the Lululemon Metal Vent Tech shirt. Reason I love this is that I just recently got into yoga. I'm horrible at yoga. I'm getting better at yoga. But one of the things that I do not like is that as I'm pouring sweat during those sessions, the shirt that I'm wearing to just be like draped on me, right? And then I'm reaching overhead and then the sleeves are getting all stretched out and it just looks like I've got a wet towel hanging on my body. Nobody wants that. And what these Lululemon shirts do, no matter how much I sweat, they form well to my body. And that is what I love. The function that I'm able to achieve with this shirt on is top tier. There's very few brands that have quality shirts that allow for you to function as well as Lululemon does. And so that is why it's one of my favorites. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favorite piece of activewear over the past quarter has been from my all time favorite brand, Duh Story. And they recently came out with a new bra called the Wonder Light Bra. And it, it's just, it. it's the moment. It's everything that I've been asking for and they came out with it. And I'm just so happy because they came out with it originally in two colors. And always my next question is, are there more colors coming? Because if I like it, I'll just get it in another color. So they ended up coming out with a few more colors and now I can wear it every single day of the week, a new one. I love it. It has a little bit lower back and just shows off your back. And like I said, I've been loving training back and it is just the, the hole in one for me. I have been obsessed. Bonus, I have a favorite piece of clothing of yours. Oh, really? On you, not on me, but on you. <laughs> <laughs> that piece of clothing is the Skims boxer? Soft Lounge Boxer. They're awesome. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you are watching this and your beautiful spouse or partner, whatever you're going to call it, she's walking around the house. These are the shorts you want her to wear. I'm not joking you, there's not a better option. You need to get <laughs> on the website immediately and go purchase these shorts. Ladies, if you're watching and you want your booty to be looking good for your man, or just in general, you just want your booty to look good, these are the shorts. You need to purchase them. You need to get actually exit out of this video go purchase the shorts. You need them in your life right now. They're going to be comfortable. Your husband, boyfriend, whomever is going to love them. And you will come back to this video, watch the rest of it and say, thank you, Alex, you're awesome. I will say I have gotten these for a friend before and then had her husband text me and say, what are the names of those shorts? I'm about to buy her some more. I would not lie to you. I'm not here to lie to you. I have no gain in lying to you. I want you to be successful. All these favorites are honest. <laughs> I have a favorite on you. Oh, cool. But it's really hard to narrow it down when you look so good in wow. so many of your clothes and you just dress really well all the time. Oh, thank you so but much. But the two things that came to mind were the Lulu shorts, but they're like a sweat short and he has them in every color, actually has some of the same color multiple times. And when we're doing laundry, it's like, the same short like 12 <laughs> times in a row but it's that good i love it it looks so good he can train in them he can wear it out he just 
It looks great in them. Thank you so much. And then another thing from Lulu, which are those green Lulu pants, which I also don't know the name of. I just know when you're wearing them. I got my eyes on you. <laughs> so those will also be on the screen and uh, you can go purchase those for your man. Now, Alex, you are always listening to something, aren't you? Yeah, for the most part. You have on music, you have on a podcast, you have on literally something at all times. Yes. <laughs> What's been your favorite podcast or if you've been studying something recently, what has been that thing that you get really excited about? So study wise right now, I am finishing up the J3U female course, which has been great to dig into. It's been a lot of reminders. And oftentimes when we're looking at education, it's good to have, or it's sometimes better to have just good reminders of some of the things that maybe you're looking past, some of the more basic things that are in place. So that has been a big benefit as well as learning some new things or different viewpoints on, on different topics. So that's been really cool. Podcast wise, I'm listening to so many podcasts. <laughs> the on list could go on. Um, I really enjoy <laughs> Two Bears, One Cave. I, I enjoy a lot of comedy podcasts. And uh, so Two Bears, One Cave, Your Mom's House, Tim Dillon's podcast. Uh, <laughs> this, this past month here, Joe Rogan's podcast has had a handful of people that I've really enjoyed. Luke Combs was just on there. That was a great episode. Bert was on there. So yeah, podcasts are always thriving. And then I always have lo-fi beats just constantly going through my office, uh, through my headphones all day. I just like to have a little bit of rhythm in the background. Mm -hmm. Now, if Pat McAfee's show counts as a podcast, because it is on Sirius XM Radio as a podcast, then Pat McAfee show, if we're really going by what I watch the most, it's going to be that. And I am not the hugest podcast listener. I really enjoy them. And oftentimes when I am listening to a podcast, it's with Alex of we have on one of the comedy podcasts and we listen to it together um, or I'm just hearing it in the same room and I enjoy a lot of those. But one that I've listened to on my own accord has been Club Shay Shay. You know, just doing his thing. He has some really fun guests on and I love when the interviewer knows the interviewee. So his episode with Dion was really good. His episode with Ocho Cinco was very good. And he's had just a lot of really good episodes. It's a good show. All right, so we talked about consuming content. What about content that we've created in the past quarter? What has been one of your favorite things that you've poured into? Because I've been so proud of the YouTube and the podcast recently. I feel like we have been killing it. I'm just really proud of the work that we've put into it as well as everyone else that works on it as well and just been loving it. 2023 was a year where we really wanted to take our skills and our content up a notch and I feel as though that we have done that. We have invested so much more time per episode, per video than what we have uh, in years past. And so there's a lot of episodes that come to mind within the podcast because there's been a lot of preparation work that we've had in place. And so the sleep supplementation podcast is probably my favorite with a very, very close second as the morning routine video, which we had so much fun filming. And it was just a, a great experience as a whole. I think there's a lot of great information in both that podcast as well as that YouTube video. And I've just really enjoyed in investing myself more into singular pieces of content relative to having a greater quantity of content, which was really our focus last year. And so it's been a nice pivot. It has been obviously more time consuming, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more challenging in those different factors, but it's been a fun shift of pace and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think that being able to focus on making the best videos that we could, even if that meant taking it down one video a week, has made me enjoy the process and the outcome so much more because that morning routine video was not only fun to put together of just making sure that it was good to go, but it was really fun watching you guys film it and brainstorm and really see the creativity rolling through because with working at our desks a lot and working alone, it's really fun to be able to collaborate together and to just be able to teach, like you love to teach and to educate. And so it's fun to see you being able to project that in the videos and podcasts. Now, my favorite piece of content was one that was a little bit more fun than educational, but also educational because you got to find out what protein flavors were the absolute best from Legion. And so the Legion protein taste test video, that was a lot of fun. That's been the video that I've rewatched the most personally because we always watch them before they go out. But I probably watched through that one like three or four times because I thought it was funny. I was laughing. 
It was a funny video. It was it was showing our character a, a lot just because we were just ragging on each other and having fun. And um, you know, I, I whooped you in terms of <laughs> naming the flavors properly. I, I, you guys have seen it. Go back and watch the video. I mean, it's clear as yeah. day that I won. Go uh, back and watch it and see that he wins. Yeah, I mean, there's a bubblegum flavor that somehow went unidentified. I called it out, but for whatever reason, it said honey cereal. I don't know. Something they screwed up on the bottle, but it is bubblegum, so. <laughs> All right, well, uh, past that delusion, <laughs> we'll go into the last item, which is going to be just anything that didn't go into one of those categories if you had a fave item. I have two fave items. So the first is going to be my Aura Ring. Now, with this Aura Ring, I've had this for much longer than the past three months, but one thing that I always run into with the Aura Ring is that I become inconsistent. And the reason for that is that I do not like wearing it while training. I also don't think you're supposed to wear it while you're training. And so what will happen is I'll take it off before I go out for a session, and then three days will pass, and then I'll be like, oh, I forgot to put that back on. And so over the last three months, I've actually kept it on, which has been a godsend because I do love the data collection from a sleep perspective and really getting to assess the quality of my sleep and where I'm lacking and those different factors. It gives me a metric of data that I can improve upon. And we all know that our sleep is so important. So if it gives me an opportunity to get better and, and have data to analyze, I'm all for it. The second thing is going to be the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube has been a challenge for me over the past three months to get into the swing of, to improve my ability to solve it, get faster at solving it, and those different factors. And it's really nice to have something that is not screen oriented. I feel like my entire day is I'm just consuming off of my computer screen, the TV, my phone, it's just a bunch of screens. And so something that takes my time and, and I enjoy and I'm invested in that has nothing to do with the screen is a huge win for me as well as this puppy. So <laughs> both of those, all three of those things <laughs> being wins for us. If you didn't know, this crazy boy got both ACLs just replaced, decided three years old, let's just get brand new ones for the rest of forever. So. It's been nice that he's been recovering well, but for my favorite items, I will piggyback off of your Rubik's Cube because Alex's goal was to learn how to do the Rubik's Cube and then to be able to teach the Rubik's Cube. And so once he was nailing things down, then he sat down and taught me and we went through the Rubik's Cube. And it's been really fun for the exact reasons that you said and just love having something that's like mentally stimulating. I literally feel like Tucker because he can't like play and do things that normally mentally or like just being able to lower his energy and so we have to do a lot of like mental toys and problem solving with him and that's how I feel with the Rubik's Cube is it just gives me that like mental push without the screens which I really enjoy and it's just fun to like improve and it's something that I never thought I would be able to do just because it seemed so difficult that now I feel like very accomplished being able to finish it. And my second favorite item are these Ugg slippers, or are they? Oh, phony. <laughs> these are phonies. I got got by an Instagram ad because Ugg slippers have been out of stock for far too long. Like people have seen me wear these and they're like, those have been out of stock so long. How did you get those? And I have to be like, hey, they're phonies. Um, they're not real. And I got the mini Uggs for Christmas and I love those, but I wanted the slippers. Have my notifications on when they're back in stock. They have not been going back in stock with my size or the color that I want. And so I got hit with this ad for a $20 pair and I was like, you know what? let's go for it. And I read some reviews, they seemed like it was good to go. And it was like, okay, we'll ship and within seven days, months later, I finally get my package and it arrives, like you would assume a scam would arrive in a trash bag taped with duct tape, like someone just threw it out of the trash at my door. Uh, but alas, I have <laughs> these fake slippers that are my favorite. That now, she wears literally everywhere. I do. The I, gym, <laughs> throughout the house, out, anywhere, those shoes go, she's with them. Because look how cute they are. I love them. Now, you definitely can tell the quality is not as good as an Ugg shoe, but it does the temporary trick for now. And when the Ugg slippers do go back in stock in my size and color, I will be snagging them up. But very happy with these phonies. 
that wraps up our most recent favorites. And like I said originally, if you have any other categories you'd like us to do, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. But don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, share this with a friend that you might want to get in or send it as a hint to your significant other to go buy those skim shorts. What are you doing anymore? But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.